Oh, yeah. Don't want to forget that. Oh, awesome. All right. Well, my name is Alicia Moglin. I am owner and founder of Five Elements of Wholeness. And today I have the privilege of interviewing my dear, dear friend and client, uh, Desi Page. Well, Desiree Page. I call her Desi. And my friend is called me Desi, so you can call me whatever. <laughs> so I, this is super informal, but I just wanted to, to share with, you know, the people that follow me and all those that are interested in this masterclass that's coming, the high performance business masterclass that's coming in June 1st. Um, just to give people some idea of what they're looking for. Cause when we hear divine feminine, so many people get like this, um, oh, that's so woo woo, or that's so crazy. <laughs> or like, that's energy work. I don't want to go there. Or, you know, especially when we're in business, we, we team to, we team, we tend to go into this space of like, um, that doesn't belong in business that doesn't belong over here. And so I wanted to get you on because you've been in this world now for going into three years. And when you first started working with me uh, about two and a half years ago, you were still working for uh, somebody else. Like you hadn't even mm -hmm. started your own business yet. So do you want to just kind of give a little background of where you came from and where yeah. you are today? So when we first started working together, I was still working a nine to five. So working a full-time job. And I was looking to start my own business and I was just like struggling to even start doing the things like procrastination, perfectionism was like getting in my way so much. And I was in this space of chaotic thinking all the time. Like I was really reflecting on that this morning and just how far I've come in the last two years. And in the last two years of business, I have gone from being a business owner to starting a business to uh, evolving my business into something and being okay with that. And now I am full-time in my business. I've quit my job. I am a logo branding and web designer. I completely shifted last year into this space that I am now because of following that intuition and following the path that I want for myself and what I feel God has called me to do and moving away from those people pleasing patterns, which also played a huge role in my life two and a half years ago. So there was a lot going on. Like I could probably spend a whole hour talking about that. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. So Desi, what made you decide that you wanted to, to stop doing business like everybody tells you to do and start learning how to be in business? And what does that even mean to you? So what really intrigued me starting to work with you when we, when we started in this space together, I did have a business coach and I still have a business coach. So, you know, I work with you and I have a coach exclusively for business, but what my business coach was telling me to do was like, just do the things, just push through, just like, you've got to take action. And that's true. We do have to take action on things, but I was hitting this wall of resistance because I had all of this emotional blockage that I was up against, that doing the things took so much energy for me that I would do the things and then I would be exhausted. And then I would do the things and then my perfectionism would kick in and be like, I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm failing. And so it would, it took me so much more effort to get to the point where I had some momentum in my business to where now I come from a place of like, okay, am I centered? Am I grounded for the day? What would God have me do? Sometimes it is taking care of myself and taking care of my body. And other days it's doing the things in my business to move those needle, those uh, money-making activities to move my business forward, but it really comes from a place of intuition and connecting with God to have him help me 
so that I'm in alignment with myself, my body, my family, and my business, because they're all, they're all working. And what I didn't understand is like, I had to do it all. I had to be it all. Like I had to be the best mother and I had to be the best business owner. And I had to be the best full-time employee and the best wife. And realistically, we can't be all of those things at the same time. And I've come to understand that harmony isn't necessarily balance and balance isn't mean, meaning doing all of the things. Whereas like, I may be spending more time in my business one day, but another day it's more focused on, on one of my children that needs me. And so coming at it from that space has really just helped me realize and recognize that I, uh, I don't even know the word for it. Like, I don't have to be all the things, I guess. <laughs> you get to just be. Yes, yes. Yeah. And and this is where I love to be in the space that I'm at because I am getting to the point in my business where I am able to help business women like yourself, business owners that are making money, that are already successful, that are already in that space of bringing in clients' help, but they're burnt out. Um, I've had clients mm -hmm. tell me, I feel like a chicken with my head cut off. I'm doing all <laughs> these things, right? We're always go, 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 go. And what have you noticed as you sit and you be still and you sit in that being, have you noticed if your business actually skyrockets or do you feel like it goes down or so less? When I'm really in that space of being, I feel that, and this is going to kind of sound woo woo, but when you're in the space of like allowing and receiving, then that hustle mentality or that do mentality is not so much a part of my thinking, but I like, I get leads. I have people like, Hey, I heard about you or you know, like I still do networking activities, but it's not this of like this energy of like, I've got to do it, you know, like I've got to do it to like get the clients. Whereas like I come from a space of allowing instead of, uh, pushing. Yeah. And like, <laughs> almost this feeling of like, I guess, desperation. That's not, maybe not necessarily the right word for me right now, but you know, like you get these, uh, these guru gurus who are like, just do, 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 do. And there's a missing piece to that puzzle, which is allowing and, oh, sorry. My cat just knocked over my plans. <laughs> sorry if that was loud. <laughs> um, Anyways, uh, it, it's just, there's a missing piece to it. So when you're in that space of allowing and receiving, then you can come from a place of like, okay, what, what gets to happen in my business to make the most impact would be a better way to describe it. I love that. I love that. And I have noticed over the time that we've worked together that you went from, I have this list of 20 things, Alicia, how do I get all this done? How do I do this in one day? And there was many conversations that I had where I'd be like, okay, let's take that to God and just ask him like for the three, the top three things. Mm -hmm. And there was, and when we, especially in the beginning, you're like, uh, top three things, that's not going to get anything done. That's not going <laughs> to move me forward in my business. And I remember inviting you to trust heavenly father like trust that those three things are the things that he needs you to do and that he will take care of the rest can you kind of like explain how you shifted from that fear of like oh my gosh if I don't do this then I'm not going to succeed versus oh yeah I could totally trust God to show up for me as I show up for my business you know what's funny is when I had those those lists of like 20 things I always miss the mark on prioritizing what was most important because that perfectionism was so real at the time and so heightened mm -hmm. and now shifting into what is the main priority for me today. And I look at all areas in my life, not, not just my business. 
And it has shifted from when I look at the things that are most important for that day, then I can be much more fully present and therefore much more effective. So when I'm in the space of business owner, I'm in that space and I can really focus on what I'm doing and I tend to get more done because I'm in that headspace. Whereas like, if I'm like worrying about my kids and worrying about my marriage and worrying about my business, like I have all this chaos in my head that renders me ineffective <laughs> in what I'm doing, you know? So <laughs> Right, exactly. And I like to mention too, is that yes, we are taking action and we are doing the things that we're guided to do in our business. But those things that we're doing are not done in the, with the intention of pushing, hustling, forcing, controlling, demanding, all of those things, right? We're not pushing through the resistance. We're not trying to live up to um, somebody else's expectations of what a business should be. And instead Mm -hmm. we're allowing and we're receiving and we're stepping into that space of flow so that we can gather those clients Because I I know you, Desi, and I'm sure those that are listening, you know how to go and get those leads. You Mm -hmm. know how to go and talk to people, how to invite people. You understand social media. You understand how to market. You understand all the things of business. The problem that we have in, in the business world, especially as women, is we are using a formula that was designed by men. And don't get me wrong, men are awesome doers. Like they are amazing at doing And that is how God designed them to be. But unfortunately, we're taking that formula and we're plugging it into our life. And when we do that, Mm -hmm. we actually step into the masculine, which takes us out of alignment with the truth of who we are as divine feminine or divine, you know, um, divine women in our feminine energy. And it actually disempowers us. And you have seen this in your life, uh, especially, you know, over the time, because neither one of us are perfect at this, but this is where we practice, right? Mm -hmm. Where there's been times that you've come to me and you're like, oh my gosh, nothing is going right. Nothing is happening right. And when we sit and really look at it, what have you noticed? So, well, I mean, it varies from time to time, but a huge aha that I had last year, I read this book called Do Less and it talks about being in the feminine energy and how our society is built on a 24 hour a day cycle, which is a men's cycle. And women have a 28 day cycle where we have weeks of like, we need rest. We have weeks where we have more energy. And that was a huge aha for me in moving more into the feminine space instead of the masculine space. Cause I was so used to pushing and like doing and, and, um, like, you know what, I, what you've been saying is like mm-hmm. just doing all the things, which like, I'd be like, why am I so tired? Like, why can't I just do this? I should have all this energy. And, you know, you start shitting all over yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. But when I, what I notice is when I give myself the time and the space, and obviously I do have deadlines in my business that there are times that I, I have to meet those deadlines to uh, contractually meet um, obligations, obligations with my clients that I've agreed upon, but I allow myself some time and space within that. So I know if I'm in a week that I may need a little bit more time to take care of myself. I am not in this space of shame. And that is a space that I was in a lot two years ago of like, I can't believe I can't do it all. You know, like I wasn't saying that to myself, but that's, those were the feelings that were coming through. And now I am in a much better place where I really take a look at my emotional state and ask myself, okay, what's going on? Like you were saying, like, what's going on? Do I need to do a little bit of cleanup work? Do I need to take some time for myself? 
what do I need to do to help me move forward? Or do I need to stay in this space and reflect a little bit more? So it's different from time to time, but the awareness that I have is like night and day. (laughs) Oh, yes. Yes. And then, you know, like, does that answer your question? I'm not sure. No, that was perfect. And I think one other thing I'd like to add to what you're saying is that it's not even so much of, of what do you need to do? It's who do I get to become? Mm -hmm. Who do I get to become so I can get to that next level? Right. And I think that's a question you've asked a lot. And so, um, as we're wrapping up here, what would you recommend those that are, that are interested in this masterclass, um, that are interested in learning how to get out of the doing of business and into the being in business, um, what would you recommend them to, to look at or even seek or, you know, ask maybe from their higher power if it's a good place for them to go? So I, I would really recommend, um, like you said, just asking, is this, is this something that is for me? Because we tend to look for external validation all around us when a lot of times we already know what the answer is for ourselves. And we all have that light of Christ. We all have that divine intuition, whatever you want to call it, whatever your higher power is, we all have that within us. And I didn't trust myself two years ago. I was always looking for uh, just somebody to validate what I was feeling or validate my decisions. And so I had a lot of decision fatigue. It took me a long time to make decisions because Or it would be like lickety split. And then I would procrastinate and be like, oh my gosh, did I make the worst decision? (laughs) But we all have that. And so taking a, taking a look and, and saying like, am I, am I ready to stop making excuses, stop doing the same thing and expecting a different result? Or am I ready to move to that next level? And if you ask yourself those questions, nine times out of 10, you're going to know what the answer is. I love it. Thank you so much. All right. We have a couple more minutes. So does anybody have any questions that you would like to have answered? If so, just go ahead and take yourself off of mute. Any questions for Desi? I'm here. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, I so appreciate you coming, Desi. Thank you for your time. And thank you for all those that have joined us. And again, you guys, I totally invite you to take some time, go to the link that I have, I'll have posted in the comments, read over the information about this masterclass. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can ask me questions at any time um, about what that looks like. And if it's something that you're interested in, um, and we, I would love to get on a quick get to know you call too, just so that we can kind of answer any more questions you have, make sure that this class is what you're looking for. In the meantime, my friends have a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks again, Desi. Thanks, Alicia. And if you join your, if anyone joins your masterclass, they will not be disappointed because what you teach the tools, like they are awesome. So join wow. just do it <laughs> <laughs> thank you desi i appreciate it all right we'll have a take great take care and have a great day Bye-bye. you too bye